let's get to it. Okay, so guys, here we are. Let's just recap really quick what we've done. We have cut this board to rough length on the miter saw. We've ripped it to rough width on the uh, band saw. Now we're here at the jointer and we're ready to actually start our feudal process, okay? So our F stands for face and our E stands for edge. These are the first two things that we're gonna do in this process to help get this board as square as possible. These are two new jointers I have for us this year. Um, we're redoing this video because these uh, jointers are use a, a European guard style. And the technique to use these is very different from what you guys may be used to with the old style. So I just want to show you first how to set this thing up. Okay? Um, you're going to push down on the guard just to release the tension because it's spring loaded. You're going to spin this knob back so it springs up. Your board goes underneath. Push the guard down just so that it sits on top of the wood. Spin the knob just until it comes up against the arm and then you can slide your board out. And now the guard is set just perfectly uh, right above the height of the, of the wood. And the guard fully covers the blade the entire time. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a nice system that way. Okay, so when we're doing our first face, we have to decide which face we want to do. All right, we know that our face is the widest surface of the board. Um, and we're going to use a little acronym that says, or a little saying that says stable on the table. That's the way, whichever way this board seems to feel the most stable on the table, that's the one we're going to use. Okay, so I actually like this face here. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to color a big squiggle on here. This is important because every pass I make, I just want to have a look at it and I want to make sure that I'm fully surfacing a face. And not only that, I want to make sure that I'm surfacing it equally. So if I run this thing through here and I discover that I'm only getting rid of the pencil mark on the top, uh, maybe I'm putting too much pressure on the front of the board and I need to equalize that. This machine is all about feel and balance. Okay? We're trying to make this thing flat. We're not trying to make a door stop. So this is really important, having these pencil marks on here to make sure that we're getting uh, even pressure, flat, good balance. Okay? Let's talk about grain direction really quick. If my board has grain run out, and that means that my grain goes from one surface of the board to the other, maybe something like that, I want to make sure that as I'm passing this over the knife, which is rotating this way, I'm not having the tendency of wanting to tear the grain back out, which is the way it would happen if this was the grain, the way the grain was running out. I would want to make sure and run it through this way instead so that when the knife was hitting it, it has the effect of pushing the grain back up into the board. Okay, so that's just a little technique that's going to help you guys get a better surface finish on the face when we actually machine this. Okay, so we're there, we're there I have my guard set. Uh, this is the way we adjust the amount of material that's coming off this thing. One lever here, push it down, gives you a deeper cut, lowers the in-feet table, pull it up, gives you a shallower cut. Okay, there's no lock, it's just a tight lever, and that's it. Out-feet table never needs to get adjusted, it stays in place, uh, we, don't, we don't touch that. Okay, sleeves rolled up, safety glasses on, earmuffs, and uh, with this particular machine, we're going to, um, just hold down the on button until the machine comes up to a full rev. Okay? When I pass this thing through here, we talked about how important balance is. I'm going to put pressure on the front of the board with my hand, and I'm going to use a push pad on the back, and I'm going to bridge my hand over the guard with my fingers, lift up with my thumb, keeping even pressure on here the whole time. I'm rocking my push pad up at the back, slowing down, grabbing it again on the other side, and keeping that balance, that even pressure on the board the whole way through. Okay, so that's the technique that's going to be a little different from what you guys are used to. It, it's going to take a bit of practice. Okay, here we go. That was
was actually it, a very shallow pass. That didn't need a lot at all. All my pencil marks are gone, they're equal. I test it, that is really nice and flat on the table. Face is done. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna give myself a little mark that kind of looks like a six. And this mark here points to the edge that is gonna be my next step, okay? So, this is the next step. My face is gonna go against the fence. My guard is gonna to have to be adjusted. Okay, this time I'm gonna push the guard down so that it's flat on the table. Spin that down so that there's no way I can get my fingers in there at all. Loosen this one just a little bit. Pull it out, that goes, you can pinch your board right in there. And we have a very, very small amount of cutter that's exposed there and I can, and I can now run this piece through. If my board is shorter than the height of the fence, I need to use a push stick. Okay, so same procedure here, um, push pad at the end, and I'm gonna roll this thing through um, just like that. Again, equal pressure, that's how we're gonna go. this as my reference edge and with um, and that's it. 